The other day I had someone asking me how to use Intersect mask in Lightroom. So this is the second time somebody asked me in the last few weeks. I figure I'll make a little tutorial and teach you how to do it. I will use this example and I want to change the color of our coat. The masking tool, it's located over here in Lightroom. And once I open it, I will choose color range and I will draw a rectangle on the coat. Now, as you can see, it pretty much selected all the greens in the image. Now, if I go to mask, the three little dots and intersect mask with select subject. Now, the way to think of intersect is overlap. I will only have selected the parts where the two masks are overlapping. Now I can see it selected a little bit more over here and over here, maybe the eyes. So I can go to subtract brush and paint those parts off. So I don't have them selected. I'll just make sure that her eyes are not selected and this little dot over here. And now I can pretty much change the color to whatever I want. Now, if I zoom to hundred percent over here on the code, there's a little bit of green remnants. If I go back to color range, you do have this refine slider. If you move it to the right, it will change more. If you have it to the left, you see, you see more of the green. So you just make sure your color range is selected appropriately to get a good selection. Let's go to a more difficult example. And that is this. I'll go back to color range and select the coat, but pretty much everything in the image is selected because I have a blue, a lot of blue everywhere. I'll go to the mask three dots intersect mask with select subject. And now I have a way better selection, but the skin tones are also selected. I'll go to subtract and go another color range and select the skin tones. I still have a little bit of unwanted magenta over here. So I will zoom to hundred percent. I'll go subtract brush and I'll just paint over the parts that I really don't want it to be selected. Now that I have a pretty good selected selection, I can choose whatever color I want. I can increase the saturation and alter it in whichever way I want. I hope you learned something new today. This is such a powerful tool and I'm hoping you will get to use it in your future editing. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.